On the surface, Shifu is your typical revenge story. Good guy, gets killed by bad guy, then you grow up to kill bad guy, right? Nothing new. Except the bad guy does not want to kill the good guy, the good guy thinks, you know, I can handle it. Turns out, he cannot handle it, and he dies. Upon witnessing your father getting bodied, getting completely raped, you get to decide whether or not you want to be a girl or a boy. The choice matters not because you're going to get brutally, brutally murdered in the next sequence. And that's how Sifu, Shifu sorry, introduces you to its brutal world. Of course, there wouldn't be any game if you stayed dead. So you come back to life thanks to the power of a talisman and that's it. The game starts, you are mad because it's on you to advantage the whole school because those guys killed everybody. And this right here is one of the best transitions ever made in a video game. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not just saying it because I love the game. Shut up. Right there, right now, that's how you know. It's about to go down. Shifu doesn't waste time. He doesn't wait for you to get ready. It throws you into the action and you have to be ready for it because it's happening. More than ever, it's happening. And guess what? If the game is too hard for you, you get to choose between two different difficulties. The student difficulty is there if you want a casual experience, just lay on the couch. And the massive difficulty is there if you hate your life. Basically, don't go there unless you're ready. And even when you get ready... This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. What makes Shifu special is the death mechanic. Because when you die in the game, you don't actually die. I mean, you die, but you don't until you do. It makes sense in a second. Every time you die, you'll be given a choice to whether stay dead, which is synonymous with death, right? Like game over. Or you choose to come back. And if you choose to come back, you'll be brought back to life thanks to the power of the talisman. But your death counter is going to be increased by one every time you die. And you start the game at age 20, meaning that when you die the first time, one is going to be added to 20, making it, you know, 21 and next time you die that counter is going to go to 2 which means 2 is going to be added to 21 meaning now you're 23. The talisman you hold in your possession is made by 5 coins and each of those 5 coins represents an age 30, 40, 50, 60 and 70 and by the time you reach 70 the last coin is going to break meaning that if you die past this point it's game over. You die for good this time. That's what I said when I said that when you die, you don't die until you die. Right? Get it? Let's go. Because you're on this quest of vengeance, you're going to go after the people who killed your father, and they are father of them. And so, the game is divided in five different levels, all of them ending with you killing the bosses. So, quick side note here. Killing enemies can sometimes decrease your death counter, but your death counter does not reset, unless you want to do so at a shrine. But yeah, it carries over and it's going to keep carrying over until you die or until you complete the game but hey 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 this is not why we're here we're here because shifu actually allows you to kick ass the main thing about shifu is its fighting system which is it has been polished to perfection it's beautiful it just it just it just works yeah <laughs> boy no, for real, actually, it actually works. And it's so, it's so, it is satisfying when you understand how it works. It is one of the best fighting games out there when it comes to just, you know, not a proper fighting game, but like adventure fighting game. It, it just, it just, it is beautiful. It is easy to get overwhelmed by all the skills at your disposal, but the game doesn't want you to actually get every skill because that, that, that's how you get lost. When you first start the game, it's easy to go for every single skill, but no, you have to divide and conquer. You have to go for this skill because it's going to be useful in this situation. You have to actually go and master the skill because that's, a, that's the most important thing about the game, how to master. It is mastery and it's finance. You're going to die a lot. Don't you worry about it. You're going to die a lot. But every time you come back, you're going to go stronger. You're going to adapt to the enemies. Enemies, the variety is just crazy. Even though, even though they have, you know, multiple enemies which share the same fighting, you know, the same moveset, you never see or encounter two enemies which look alike. Never. Each one of them is different and that's very good. When it comes to enemy you know, diversity, A+. Plus. Actually, S+. Plus. Actually, SSS+. Plus. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
it doesn't stop there actually it starts there because the art design is just it will blow your mind it's not yeah it's not super realistic but it works for that kind of game right every single level has been polished and you can tell a lot of love and a lot of creativity has been invested to make this game the way it is you're going to have your mind blown yes and it doesn't again it doesn't stop there because the music the music is actually insane it makes you it makes you <laughs> it makes you feel like you are in a fighting game yeah i said it shifu makes you feel like you are a martial artist and to help you throughout your journey they actually made some banger banger tracks like some tracks that just you go mm, 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 ah, mm, mm. you know what i'm saying like the game has so many things going for it it's amazing when you realize that those that game was made by a small studio of course it's not like 16 times the detail it does not fall short of course i would have liked it if the punches had more you know impact like you know you know those those old kung fu movies like it's like like they could have told me i could have made the soundtracks for all the the hates and everything but yeah i mean there definitely are some things we can hold you know it's like it's like it's not a perfect game like it's up, it's up there but it's not perfect you're going to love sifu 100 percent if you don't i'll punch you in the face you're going to love Sifu, and that's also what's holding the game back because by the time you complete the game, there is nothing else to do. Yes, of course, you can still come back to have those perfect runs where you actually end the game under a certain age. But after that, there's nothing to do. And that's such a shame because the game is so... I would have liked if they actually had something installed to to make us keep coming back for more because you, st you always want more. You always want to do something, but you just... You just I mean, yes, they, they talked about DLCs in the future, but it's just, it's just so far away. But by the time it actually comes, I don't think we'll be alive. I mean, so many years would have passed. I mean, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, it's going to be available winter 2022, but that's just so far for a game which released at the beginning of the year. And I just can't, I just can't help but think about what the game would have been if you actually have found a way to keep us you know coming for more but yeah the game is not short because you're going to die a lot and you're going to, you're going to keep coming back for more but by the time you actually understand what the game is about the mechanics and all those little secrets that's it but before you get there you're going to die a lot like a lot like but it's going to be worth it because in the end, every time you rise from the dead, you get stronger. You become more efficient at using your skills and you understand how they work. You understand that the flowing claw is not just, you know, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's way more than what it is. Some moves just allow you to duck into some attacks when some other allow you to go over some attacks. It's, it's like, what? The fighting system has so much death. And you, you cannot possibly just dive into all of the secrets in your first playthroughs. Not even in your second one, not even your third one. It takes time to become a master. And that's what Sifu is about. You have to invest time. And by the time you do so, you're going to be an unstoppable machine. Because no skills is overpowered. When you invest time in Sifu, you invest time in yourself. The skills, they are nothing. You, on the other hand, you become that guy. You become him. Or you become her. You kick ass. So, that said, it's time for... Wait, that's actually the first time I do that kind of thing. So, I, I guess I have to read the game. I guess? Okay, so. When it comes to Sifu, which is an amazing experience. And the game has so much secrets. You can spare the bosses and then you can figure out... You can actually understand at some point... You can figure out that the bad guys are not actually bad guys and you know the good guy is not actually a good guy so, <laughs> so it makes you wonder and th i love that about the game you know it's just it's just not your generic revenge story it's way more than that so should you play sifu absolutely will you have fun definitely will you regret it not likely and my final rating when it comes to sifu is a solid wait for it 
Here it comes. Almost there. Very solid masterpiece out of 10. How does that translate to a number? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, this is my review. I get to make the rules and I say it's a masterpiece out of 10. Maybe it's worth like, I don't know, 15 points. So it's like 15 out of 10. Yeah, I, I yeah. I, I, <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. And if you haven't played Sifu already, what you waiting for, huh? 